With Oahu's water rate going up nearly 10% this month and more increases coming, many folks are looking for ways to cut costs. As KITV4's Moaniki Alanabaro reports, about 50% of home water use occurs outside of the home. But there are ways to conserve water and lower your expenses. Big mountains and cool trade winds keep Hawaii's water cycle going. It takes about 25 years for rainwater to trickle down through lava rock and into the water table, where it's tapped for your tap. Experts say half of the average water bill for a single-family home comes from watering the lawn. Since 1989, the Board of Water Supply has provided free tours at its Halava Zerascape Garden, educating customers on how to cut outdoor water use. Xeriscaping is landscaping using plants that don't need a whole lot of water. Diane Moses is one of the specialists here educating people about the money-saving technique. We don't even water this one so mother nature does its thing yep and it, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Moses showed us a healthy rosemary shrub and she says many herbs aren't very thirsty and there are clues you should look for when choosing a not-so-thirsty plant for your yard. Looking at the plant's leaves is an important clue. Xeric or dry plants have leaves that are either shiny, small, round, silver, or hairy. Moses says there are many attractive Xeric plants, and we were surprised to see some familiar ones we didn't even know fell under the unthirsty category, like the pink desert rose, crown flower, and tall lowulu fan palms. Arthur Ayu is another specialist here at the garden, and he says most, if not all, native Hawaiian plants need little water. The fact that it would got here naturally and survive by natural climate and conditions, it probably could survive on natural rainfall. And the key to keeping a thriving garden is the mulch. Employees here recommend surrounding your plants with at least three inches of it to keep the moisture in, and the facility provides mulch free to the public. Moani Ke Ala Navarro, KITV4 News. The Board of Water Supply says some native Hawaiian plants may actually do better in some spots depending on where you live. There is a planting guide online.